Ah, the birth of Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 2 picks us up quite nicely and talks about God's gift to us of this baby in a manger who is so much more than just a baby in a manger. Jesus would live a sinless life and also he would die for us, giving us life as a sacrifice for our sins. God also was pleased with this sacrifice. He resurrected him from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit, showing his approval of what Jesus had done, that he truly was trustworthy. Jesus himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. I want to read for you Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7, in commemorating this birth of Christ. It's not about whether you're wearing red or have a green background or whether you fit any color scheme, but it's about commemorating the birth of Jesus and especially knowing him and not just seeing just a baby. All right, so let's read verses 1 through 7. In those days a decree went up from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria. And all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Interesting about this passage, Luke 2, verses 1 through 7, there are definite historical figures mentioned. Jesus is really put into context. Caesar Augustus, Quirinius, so we can see a time frame here. We also see geography surrounding Jesus. And talking about anywhere from Syria to Galilee to Nazareth to the Bethlehem, all these geographic locations mark that this was a true story. This is a legitimate account that can be tested. And so this is a literal account of what happened. This isn't a fairy tale. Another thing, Jesus was a miracle baby. We see from Isaiah, Jesus was predicted 740 years before he was born that he would be born of a virgin. We also see that he would be born of Bethlehem, the city of David. In Micah chapter 5, verse 2, we see that Jesus would be born of Bethlehem. The Messiah would come. And yeah. He fulfilled that. So many prophecies from the Old Testament speak to who Jesus is and was, and I really desire for you to, to seek that out if you have not yet. It's important to know Jesus, and it's not a regrettable decision. You will not regret turning to Jesus. Another question from this passage. There was no room for them in the end. Is there room for Jesus in your heart? Now, it's not literally like asking this person to come and live in your heart, but the heart, your motives, your desires, your intentions, your life needs to be just saturated with Jesus and we need to be following after him. And so if you don't know Jesus, I would just definitely urge you, seek out this Jesus, ask him for forgiveness for your sins, admit that you're a sinner. We, we all mess up, we all sin, we all disobey God. Believe in Jesus, put your faith in him it says in Romans 10, 13, all who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. But again, we have to confess that he is Lord, that Jesus is Lord, and believe in our hearts that, that God raised him from the dead. And again, the assurance there is that we will be saved. If we have sin in our hearts and we need to confess it, we have the assurance from 1 John 1, 9, that if you confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us of our unrighteousness. God delivers us so much. And you know what? He gives us such good and perfect gifts. One of them's life. We're supposed to enjoy this life. Another thing, yeah, we have salvation through Jesus. We have so many other gifts and blessings. If God has given you a wife or a husband, that's another blessing. Or children, that's a huge blessing. And like all these are just huge, huge blessings from God. And, uh, even breathing air, we don't even think about it. And we're, we're breathing and we're enjoying this life. And God gives us so many blessings through this life. He is the author of good and perfect gifts. And so today, if you have not chosen Jesus for your life, if you have not followed him and, and committed your life to him, and, and if you're not following him, turn toward Jesus, because he's not just this baby who lay in a manger and just stayed there and remained cute, but he also was relevant and pertinent to our lives, that he gave his life as a sacrifice for our sins, that we could have eternal life through him. Now this Christmas, again, it's not about commercialism. You know, the love that you get from someone can be conditional based on how good a gift you give them. That's not the way with God. God has unconditionally given us Jesus, but we need to respond in faith. 
And so, if you have not been transformed by Jesus Christ, yes, pray to him. Ask him for forgiveness of your sins and follow him. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. If you need, a, if you need any help, if you need any prayer, you can go to our website, crossallegiance.org. You can put a www behind that. That's fine. Um, so www.crossallegiance.org. And then we have a contact form by, uh, by which you can send prayer requests. Or if you have any questions about this video or how to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, it's very simple. I mean, it's a very simple thing. You're just praying and asking God to forgive you in Jesus' name and committing your life to him and following him. And, you know, not having a prideful self um, claim and, uh, and rebellion against God, but you know, submitting yourself and, and obeying and following God. And it's a joy and it's a blessing and it's another one of the gifts that God gives us. And so take advantage of that. God bless you. Merry Christmas. And again, study this. Luke 2 and Matthew 2, great passages on the birth of Jesus Christ. God bless you.